Hey, what's good, everyone? It's your boy, Matt Diazzo, coming at you with a new music review. If you're new, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, today, we're checking out the band uh, Scrape with their, uh, I think if I'm correct, their first ever demo that dropped here in the year of 2024 as of this recording. Scrape is a four-piece metalcore slash metallic hardcore band based out of Dallas, Fort Worth area. I think multiple members are in either the Dallas or Fort Worth area, DFW. And they've been a band for about a year now, and this is their first uh, a bit of uh, material they released. And I think by the end of 2024, if not early 2025, they're going to release some new music. And they combine uh, different elements of like early 2000s metalcore, metallic style hardcore, emo choruses um, to blend a style of music that caters to all of their, uh, I guess, uh, musical inspirations and what they want to put out. And I would say if you're a fan, um, the band has said it themselves, but I can see the, the correlation that if you are a fan of Harm's Way, Jesus Peace, or Sanction, then you're going to find something here that can, uh, like, cater to your needs in terms of, like, heavy and hardcore music. And now that I think about it, they kind of remind me of uh, Chamber a little bit, I think. Yeah. So uh, for this uh, demo, uh, I got hit up by some of the members saying, hey, check out the, the band's demo and everything. And, of course, I was like, yes, dope. I'm happy to help out the scene since uh, I'm originally from San Antonio, Texas, and I used to go to shows out there a long time. Back when I used to live there, I still go there when I can, when I'm uh, not here in Korea, but I try to be involved in all the scenes that I go to, whether it be Korea, Japan, Thailand, or uh, America. I'm just always trying to be more involved because this is the, the music I love and everything. So uh, I'm excited that someone from close to, anyone from Texas hit me up. I'm excited to check out their music. So yeah, I think sonically this band has some really good crunchy guitars. The riffs have a really, really nice feel to them. The drums really pop especially the snare drum and their overall use of the the tom heads and the cymbals and everything they're they're not afraid to experiment and play with those elements and with their drum patterns that is uh something i really liked about this band uh the bass surprisingly uh very mild like for a heavy band the bass just wasn't really as heavy as it could have been but it wasn't a bad thing it was pretty uh like i think they knew what they were doing like the bass didn't have to be so strong uh, it being mild with all the chaoticness from uh, the other parts of the band really helped uh, the band, the bass just sound really good throughout this uh, demo. And the vocals are very, very uh, solid in terms of like uh, unclean, harsh vocals. He's doing a really good job, I think, with his technique and he sounds pretty clean. I think the biggest thing that I like about this band is that I definitely feel potential that this band can turn into a bigger band in the scene that's going to have a good following because... They've got some really good ideas, really good pacing with their uh, music and their ideals overall sound really good as they're playing here. They're just really, really, well, rough around the edges because it's a demo, it's their first uh, uh, release as a band. I don't know if the other members have played in other bands, but it's uh, it's a lot of pros and cons in here, but you can definitely see, see that the pros outweigh the cons, I think. One distinctive quality about this band is the guitarist slash the riffs being made here. They have a really, really good crunchy feel to it and help create a heavy atmosphere with their style of playing. And then that's really balanced out with the uh, drumming here because the drumming is very, very uh, snappy and tight with the snare drum. Uh, it really helps uh, that the drummer also does some really uh, uh, interesting drum patterns and has some really dynamic styles because throughout the EP, he does little things here like like small drum fills, little hits on the hi-hats that just add a little bit of like flavor to the... Just like the drums and the guitars, the vocals and the bass are pretty consistent. They have a few moments of um, not being the best, but overall they're pretty consistent. But I think more things that hinder the bass and the vocals and other parts of the band is the production side of things. Uh, it, it is a demo and most hardcore demos are never the best, they're really rough. And you can tell here because uh, some of the guitar parts uh, some of the vocals are either really too loud or really too low so it does make it feel it makes it feel a little uh, incoherent and inconsistent uh, just like on the song uh, Pushing Daisies I think the guitars drown out the vocals a little bit so it makes it a little bit of a hard experience to enjoy I think so I want to play a clip of that for you
good song, just kind of hard to hear on those vocals. Another prime example of production issues is on the song The Art of uh, Acceptance. The vocals sound really, really low and can be like kind of hard to understand. And I think like the vocalist is doing a like okay job, but I think the whoever is engineering or producing this music just needs to turn it up a little bit. So here's a clip of that. Some cool ideas here, just hard to hear at times. The band is talking about things like remorse, uh, punishment, regrets, and torment and blame. And I like how that uh, sometimes they're being subtle with it in a more abstract way or very direct with how they want to talk about it and they balance things out really well. Like on the first uh, song, they have a really good line here saying, um, uh, I'll put it in your hands, another piece of insecurity. Something about that line just sounds really, really cool. and. You know, it fits with the whole metalcore, hardcore vibe. I guess a little bit of a different issue that I came across here. Uh, I wouldn't say it's too big, but um, I think it's kind of, it comes with the territory of being a new band. And it was that some of the songs, uh, especially the first song, uh, felt a little bit clunky and a little bit uh, too erratic. Like, it sounded like they were kind of throwing different styles of like uh, metalcore and hardcore playing and it all kind of got a little mushed up. But as the demo goes along, they get a little bit groovier and more cohesive. But the first song was a little uh, abrasive, I think, uh, and just, you know, a little awkward and clunky. So I want to play a clip of that for you. I think there was a lot of cool ideas kind of getting mushed together right there that maybe if they stripped them out and put them in other songs or used them for different parts might have been cooler but it just seemed a little bit of a cluster demos can be a little bit tricky at times because uh it is where you're starting off with your band and later down your the road your sound could change a lot or you can stay consistent with that sound and people really enjoy that so it can be a very very uh rocky start with any band or any musician making what like art they want to do and how they want to progress with it and I feel like these guys in Skirt are doing a pretty decent job with their demo here. Um, they have some really good ideas. They kind of get a little messy here and there in terms of like putting too many ideas together and just figuring out their overall literal sound with some production issues. But I do see a lot of uh, uh, potential with where they want to go uh, stylistically uh, and with the, how their vision is. Uh, they really do a really good job with that metallic hardcore, I think. And I can see these guys uh, making some uh, big headlines in the future. So I would say this demo is a good solid 7.5 out of 10. Links down below. Check them out. Tell me what you think about it. And uh, till next time, guys, watch this video over here. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you in the pit.